Hi and welcome to this week's episode. Uh, this week we're going to do a router table table. That kind of makes sense to me. So, what is a border router table? Not a particularly expensive one, but at the moment it's got nowhere where it lives. It lives on the floor. I have to lift it up and down if I want to use it. It's just not really practical. I've also got a plunge router and I've got loads of little bits that go with everything. So what I really want is some sort of cabinet. So we'll go on casters, we'll move around the shop. The router table will sit on the top and there will be lots of storage as well for my different router bits and sockets and spanners and all the other bits and pieces that come with the router which will be lost if I don't do something about it. This is my finished router table which I'll be showing you how I made step by step. Um, it's made to measure um, which is what I love about woodworking. Bottom's oversized, double thickness plywood to give it extra stability at the bottom. We have a couple of doors at the bottom, giving me storage for my plunge router. Got a couple of drawers here, um, perfect for storing all my bits and pieces of the router. Before I was really worried that I might get them lost because they were getting thrown around and scattered and uh, now I've got dedicated storage for those bits. This last piece I'm really particularly proud of, which is perfect for this router bit collection that I bought, which was a, a large box, it's a very nice box, has all my router bits in there, but before I was moving it around the workshop and things were getting put on it and then to, to find a bit, I had to find a spare surface to put it down and to, you know, this works so much better because it's there and it's easily accessible, I can get to them and I can then slide it away there. Simple top and then the router attached there, so now we're nice and solid. And also as well, it is on rollers, so I can move it around if I want to. Welcome to day three of building the router table. I've got some previous videos that show you how I got to this point. This video will be looking at the drawers and also making some really unique bespoke door handles and door pullers. I rip the two strips of wood that I will use for my draw sides. I often think I'd be better off rough cutting them first with the circular saw as these sheets are too big to handle accurately. So I've cut two strips of wood uh, for the drawers, um, neaten them up, I'm not sure you can see this but can you see that? They're not. That's just resting against the top and the bottom but there's a, a clear bend in uh, one of the pieces, they're actually cut from the same piece, this looks straight, this looks uh, bent out, so it's no wonder a lot of my things are a bit wonky when I'm building them if this is the state of the wood, but I really should keep an eye on this. First, I make two cuts that are intentionally oversized. These will be for the front and back of the drawer. After measuring the drawer width in the main unit, I clamp both pieces together, making sure they are flush. Cutting them together ensures they are both exactly the same length. I repeat the process for two sides and check to see if they fit. I run all the pieces through my router creating a small groove. This is where the draw base will float.
I now add pocket holes just to each end of the side pieces so I can attach them to the front and back of the drawer. I've attached the sides to the base using a special clamp from Craig. I almost attached the front piece too but I had to remember not to do that because I needed to slide the drawer base in. I measured out the size I needed for the drawer bottom and cut it out of some spare hardboard. I was going to use this hardboard in a previous project but I didn't store it right and it was all out of shape. Still good for drawer bottoms though. I remembered to check the path of the blade. One of these days I'm going to cut straight through my workmate bench. The drawer base fits first time, I'm not going to glue it in place as the grooves will hold it and once the drawer front is on it's going nowhere. Here I'm going to make some custom made door pulls for the drawers and the doors of my cabinet. I glued them together earlier and uh, now sanding them down. They're only going to be rough, it's a little bit of fun, I could have bought some but you know why not make some? Rounding them off with the router was a bit tricky. It took a lot of patience and it did fly off a few times. It wasn't the best. But hey, it's just a shop project so it doesn't really matter too much. Next I mark the centre point. I don't know why I did this, it did help when I glued the, the next bit of wood on that sort of held it away from the unit itself, but the centre mark didn't really do anything apart from giving me a bit of a guide. I use lots of glue because I'm gluing end grain. It's not the strongest, but I'm going to put a screw through it as well, so I think it will hold tight. My chickens seem to love eating the sawdust. Making the face for my drawers now, I cut a scrap of wood to the right height. To get the right width I position it halfway across the central divide and mark the other end with a pencil. Once the drawers are cut to size I use a round over bit to make them look a little bit more fancy. Using a scrap piece of wood I find the centre on the back of the drawer faces. I'm going to drill a hole through these and that's how I attach them to the drawers themselves. Now I don't have a drill press so I was trying to use out this jig that I bought. The idea is, is it will keep the hole square to the piece of wood that you're drilling through but the problem I had with this jig is I couldn't get all the way through the jig and the scrap of wood however that little pilot hole that I made was just sort of perfect I think just to keep it straight as I finished off the job. Okay I really didn't think too much about this I wanted to attach them so they were all perfectly level and straight and even and so on but I just kind of think I've lost patience at this point. Get it roughly right, clamp it in place and attach it. It is only a shop project, but really I should learn how to do this properly. I drove a screw through the drawer and the front face, just letting it poke out and then taking the, the door handle, a little bit of dab of glue, and then finish screwing through the drawer and drawer face and into the door handle. 
that will pull everything together tight. I also added a couple more screws, we just went through the drawer and the drawer into the drawer face. That will stop the drawer face moving around and keep it all secure. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the three videos that I've done around this router table table. If you haven't seen the early ones, please check them out. Love to hear your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Um, put them down there, hit like, and also please remember to subscribe. Love more videos to come.